Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. All right. Cut it. Drum roll, please. <laughs> I did my own drum roll. It's so lame. <laughs> I am Dana B and today I'll be sharing with you 16 things that I learned in 2016. I know that we're already in January but I feel like it was still important to share because these are things we can take with us throughout the entire year so let's get started. So I wrote down in my handy dandy black book the 16 things that I'll be sharing with you and this black book is really just a composition notebook like do you guys remember this in like elementary school? Okay, so lesson number one. I learned that plan B, C, and D is just as good as A. What's meant for you is for you. Lesson number two, I learned that life is in constant transition. I know when I was in college, I was just waiting to graduate because then adulthood would start and I would like have my life together. It's a lie. Every time you think that you're like, settled down or settled in, something else comes at you. So you just have to learn to go with the flow. Number three, college is not the only place for you to find yourself or create yourself. And that's usually the dialogue that people have, like, oh, I'm going to college to learn who I am. Um, if you wake up today and you're like, I don't like who I am, you can always make a conscious decision and an effort to become a better person. And I'm so grateful that we don't have those four years to get our lives together because, girl, Number four, I learned that age is literally nothing but a number. I've met so many people who are younger than me who are mature, they're very wise, they um, started their businesses, they're just really making moves in life. And I've met people who are significantly older who are not where they want to be. So I used to think that like, oh, when you're 30, you're gonna have everything together. And when you're like, I don't know, 25, I'm 22, I almost forgot. <laughs> I almost forgot my age. I'm 22 and I'm learning that like age means nothing really. It's all about your mindset. Number five, I learned that blanket scarves are literally everything. Literally. Like, I don't have my blanket scarf with me, so I'm going to pop a picture right somewhere on the screen so you can see what I mean. Like, need I say more? Anyways. Lesson number six, I learned that everyone is going through something, everyone. So I think it's really important to keep that in mind um, in our daily conversations and our daily interactions with people because you never know what someone is dealing with at home. Lesson number seven, there's a popular saying that says you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. And that is so true. Very um, few times will you find that the argument is worth it. Sometimes it's better to just give the soft answer instead of like being aggressive or attacking the situation and making it worse than it already is. Number eight, choose to take action always. I think that's self-explanatory. Number nine, start now. That is one of the biggest lessons that I learned. Um, in 2016, if you don't start today, you're going to look back a year from now and say that I wish I started last year. Lesson number 10, I learned that it's really important to surround yourself with people who are also going after their own dreams. I think if you have people around you who are um, super ambitious, they're go-getters, they're working hard to achieve their purpose, their calling, they don't have time to tear you down. Instead, you guys can work collectively to um, achieve your goals together. So making connections, giving tips, giving advice, being a, um, a listening ear is always super important when you year have important dreams that you want to accomplish so surround yourself with people who are just as ambitious as you are lesson number 11 there's enough room at the top for everyone you guys I think like if I could stop right here it was 2011 I would stop right here because I just noticed that everyone wants to make it but not everyone wants to help another person and when you make it to the top truly successful people have found like there's enough wealth to go around there's enough wisdom to go around there's enough resources to go around so I personally it makes me upset to see when people are selfish and don't want to help other people so I'm gonna stop right here because I don't want to go on my rant but I think that's one of the biggest lessons that I learned is that there's enough room at the top each one teach one that's not an original you know what I'm saying but yeah number 12 if you make a mistake apologize it's that simple 
Okay. Number 13, life goes on. So this year, my older cousin passed away, and I think I was kind of expecting to have time to grieve and just kind of reflect on life, reflect on her life, and um, kind of like console my family or, you know, all of that. But I still had to get up and go to work and just do what needed to be done. So I think it's important to think that when you hit when you hit rock bottom or you think this is the worst case scenario um life still goes on and everything will be okay lesson number 14 drink water exfoliate so you can glow exhibit a and pray daily that is the real key number 15 in 2016, I really learned about integrity. Um, I think your integrity really comes from you being honest when no one else is watching. And I think it's just super important to decide to be an honest person who moves in excellence despite who's watching, despite who's cheering you on, despite the shortcuts that are available to you. And number 16, drum roll please. <laughs> I did my own general. It's so lame. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Number 16. In 2016, I learned that I am enough. And I'm not sharing this to brag on my confidence and how I feel about myself, even though I like to think I'm super confident. It's more so about encouraging you. There's always going to be someone who's more intelligent than you are, who's more beautiful, who's skinnier, who sings better, writes better, acts better, um, knows more people. But if you're confident in the value that you add to the team, if you're confident in what you bring to the table, that's more than enough. So I think, in 2017, we need to stop trying to be like someone else and just be the best version of yourself that you can be because that's the real beauty. So that is all that I have for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and supporting my very first video on YouTube. Kudos to you if you made it to the end. Your support means everything to me. I want to encourage you guys to keep this conversation going. I would love if you comment below and tell me the biggest lesson that you learned in 2016. And also tell me, is this a lesson that you're taking with you? in the new year or is it something that you're leaving behind because we're on to bigger and better things please while you're at it go ahead like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you can stay connected with what else i'll be doing in 2017 all i know is that 2017 is about to be lit not only for me but for you as well again thank you so much for watching it's dana b cut it cut it cut it